हेलो एवरीवन आई एम प्रोफेसर एस एन माने असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ प्रोसेसिंग एंड फूड इंजीनियरिंग वर्किंग इन केकेवा कॉलेज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी नाशिक टुडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट द प्रैक्टिकल डिटरमिनेशन ऑफ क्रूड फाइबर कंटेंट ऑफ द फूड प्रोडक्ट नाउ क्रूड फाइबर इट इज अ मेजर इफ द क्वांटिटी ऑफ इनडाइजेस्टेबल सेलुलोज पेंटोसंस लिग्निन्स एंड अदर कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ दिस टाइप इज प्रेजेंट इन द फूड see most of the crude fiber contents which are present in the number of food material or in the fruit or vegetables and uh, crude fiber plays a very important role in our growth or different metabolic reactions of the human body uh, these components have the little food value but they provide the bulk necessary for the proper peristaltic action now what is the peristaltic action it is nothing but a, it is wave like muscle contractions in the organs of our digestive tract and uh, that action it push the food into the stomach and then into the intestine so for the proper digestion crude fiber content is very important so we have to consume all kinds of food material or the fruits or vegetables those containing high fiber content so for getting the proper digestion we need a fiber content uh, crude fiber it is nothing loss on ignition of the oven dried residues remaining after sequential digestion of the sample with h2so4 and nos solution under the particular conditions this method it is applicable to all dry samples like uh, grains meals flours pet foods then forages oil seeds then uh, meat products and the fibrous materials it is provided samples uh, are fat extracted and a uh, workable residues is uh, left to be analyzed the range of analysis is uh, 0.2 to 0% fiber it aims to know the principle of crude fiber determination and the significance of the fiber in the human diet uh, what so what is the principle behind the determination of crude fiber content is that crude fiber is a loss on ignition of the dried residues or uh, remaining after the digestion of the sample with the 0.1 normal hcl and 0.1 normal noh solutions under the specified condition now this method it is applied for the all kinds of food products like grains cereals pulses or uh, then meals flours then feeds fiber bearing materials and the pet foods from which fat can be extracted and uh, to leave a workable residues now the reagents and the equipments which are required for this experiment is that 0.1 normal hydrochloric acid 0.1 normal nos solution then we need a weighing balance for measuring the required food sample then muffle furnace is required and the filter paper then uh, procedure to find out this uh, crude fiber content so first of all we have to wet 10 g of the defatted samples okay those sample or the food product which is uh, fat extracted okay amount of fat content is less uh, and take that wedged sample in the round bottom flask then into that product add 200 ml of the 0.1 normal hcl and allow it to boil for the half hours then after boiling filter it and remove the excess acid by washing it two times with the water okay once your boiling has been completed or uh, filter that assembly uh, sorry filter that mixture and uh, remove the whatever acid it is added excess acid should be removed by the washing it with the water then uh, whatever residues is collected and it is added with the point nor point one normal nosh and again it is allowed to boil for the half hour then filter it and again remove the excess alkali see nosh is the alkali which is added uh, by washing it two times with the water and uh, see once your washing has been completed a dry residue in the hot air oven for 3 to 4 hours at about 110 degrees celsius and uh, wedge the dry matter and then keep into the muffle furnace see muffle furnace it is used uh, uh for um, finding out the ash content as well as the uh this crude fiber content and uh, this is operated at temperature of 550 degrees celsius and uh, you have to dry it oh, sorry you have to keep it the given sample into the muffle furnace for the 2 to 3 hours then uh, wedge down the weight of ash after cooling in the desiccators for the half an hour 
uh, after removing the sample from the muffle furnace, you have to keep your sample into the desiccator. See, the working of desiccator is that uh, even though we have dried our sample or heated in the muffle furnace, but some amount of liquid which is uh, converted into the vapor form, that vapor form of the liquid we need to absorb. So we have to keep into the desiccator and see in the desiccator number of desiccants like silica gel or the calcium hydroxide like desiccants, they are going to be used up. So after drying in the muffle furnace, you have to keep or after cooling place in the desiccator for the half an hour. Then uh, once all this process has been completed, uh, you will find out the crude fiber content by using the formula that is uh, weight of dry matter minus weight of the ash, uh, which is we have found out in the muffle furnace and uh, weight of the sample into 100. So this is the formula for finding out the crude fiber. Uh, so in this practical, we learn about the basic informations regarding the uh, crude fiber. That is uh, what is the need of crude fiber content for the human body. Then what is the principle behind that? Then which kind of reagents or apparatus is required and which process we have to follow for finding out the crude fiber content. Also, we learned the formula for finding out the crude fiber content in the percentage that is dry matter weight minus ash weight divided by the weight of the given sample into the 100. So I hope you have understood uh, this practical. Thank you.